Hey, good people, it's Mercury Retrograde, and the past might be coming back in with some new information, some new insight for us. My name is Rick Astor. The Mercury Retrograde um, is often associated with an attention on the past, maybe getting some new insights on past things, also interruptions in communication, disruption of plans. And since we're going into the fall season, in the north, this this particular Mercury retrograde might have to do with some ancestral karma that we might have a chance to clear or at least understand. So I'll start with a card from the brand new Voyage of the Soul Oracle to get a theme for this Mercury retrograde. Let's see what's in the cards. The card I'm getting is polarity. So we're talking about things that are opposite of each other. And of course, that's the nature of a retrograde. You mostly want to move forward in life, and a retrograde very often has you moving backward temporarily to get a new perspective. I'm not sure what polarity we'll be looking at, so let me get some tarot cards here. These will come from the Light Seer's Tarot. The Situation, Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Obstacle, Nine of Swords. Marketplace, King of Pentacles. Something around the home, possibly. Fool in reverse in thoughts. Maybe it's time to take an innocent look at the past there. Six of swords in reverse in feelings. And eight of wands in outcome. So that could be that communication that's so often disrupted in a Mercury retrograde. This is a story that looks simple enough so far. There's an imbalance here, or... Maybe you're overloaded, and that's because of some fears, and we probably want to look at what those fears are that that have things out of balance or that have you trying too hard. It's not going to be too hard to see what that is. If you look in the thoughts position, there are ideas that simply won't stand up to scrutiny with the fool in reverse. There's a need to go back in the feelings position to go back and see what the original feelings were that gave rise to these patterns. The outcome is going to be either rapid movement or communication or both. We'll see what that comes to. The intriguing card here is the King of Pentacles. My feeling here is that this refers to your family tree or your ancestry. It could also be your household of origin. There is something about the circumstances that you came from that you'll be wanting to revisit. So let me look at this card, get some more clarity on what this King of Pentacles is. And the card I'm getting is the Empress in Reverse. So the Empress in Reverse very much echoes the Two of Pentacles in Reverse. There's an overload or overwhelm it's hard to get things working right. And that's in connection with your family tree or your family background. And so what that says is that your situation is an expression of your family or your ancestry. So let me take a look at this Two of Pentacles in Reverse and see if we can get some clarity on what that's about. The card I'm getting is the Ace of Wands in reverse. That tells me that you're drawing a blank, that these are patterns that you really can't see because you've got sort of a blind spot there. It's one of those things that you think is the nature of the universe instead of seeing that it's a quality of your unique um, life experience. And that's uh, typical when you have 
something that's ancestral in nature. You think it's the way things are, and it's really just what you were born into. Now I have the Six of Pentacles in reverse um, to clarify the Fool in reverse. And this is the card of One Way Flow. This says that you're receiving these ideas from your past or from your ancestry or from your household of origin, but not putting your own ideas in. This is the thoughts position, so this is specifically about your ideas. So there's a need for you to take a look at these things. I'll go on to the outcome position now and see what this Eight of Wands is about. Card I'm pulling out here is the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I believe this refers back to the blind spot that we mentioned here and uh, these ideas that you're not scrutinizing in the thoughts position. There is this protective bubble that you've had around certain ideas and you'll be coming out of this bubble taking a look at the world the way it really is in this particular area not looking at it through this particular lens that keeps you from seeing many of the details. Now the theme we started out with includes the idea of contrast, and I feel that these ideas that you'll be looking at, scrutinizing for the first time from your ancestry or from your origins, will help you see why you're getting some of the things that you want and getting some of the things you don't want. It will help you bring that into a better balance so that you're getting more of the things that you do want. Let me get a card from the Oracle deck again, this time for Guidance. And the card coming loose is Serenity. I believe this is saying not to stress out over this process of re-examining the past it's easy to get defensive when you first start to examine your assumptions. You can argue, wait, this is always true, isn't it? And then a few minutes later, you can get chagrined to see that a certain part of everything you're doing has been a lie, that you've assumed these things or followed these ideas that when you take a quick look at them, don't stand up and aren't the way that the people around you are working. And then when you get through that, you can be a little dismayed at how much you will have to change in order to bring things into a rational flow based on what you now know. And this card is saying not to go into any of the despair or worry at any of these stages, that this will all flow nicely enough even if it looks strange at different points. Take a deep breath when it looks like everything has gone wrong. It just means you've gained some additional perspective. So I hope this helps. Mercury retrograde can be a troubling time in many ways, but it's a time when you can gain this new perspective on the past, and I hope this gives you some thoughts of where that might be coming up, some clarity on what you might be looking for. As always with the Mercury retrograde, make sure your backups are current, that you know where your chargers are, that you're ready to get those new cables when your cables break. These are the kinds of things that are likely to happen this month. Let me just say, don't fear the retrograde. Good luck.